Must be ready here somewhere. Just uh, drop on by 
for our war-to-war visit. <laughs> oh, no, no, no pressure. No pressure whatsoever. That's all down to you, of course. Uh, tell you what. Do you want to hear a bit of a interesting story? Yeah, for sure. For sure. Might help you unwind a bit. Can you mind off the, uh, well, the slight injury you've got there? Alright then. So, what I was trying to do was recruit interesting people. It's always the interesting ones that I want to try and get in touch with and whatnot. And, well, I came across this strange looking fella. A little, uh, <laughs> little green bean kind of dude. I say that because he wasn't too tall. And, man, he seemed to love green. He seemed to have some green threads and some green tufts of hair and even his eyes glowed green those were not real eyes I'm sure of that so he for sure was not what you'd call your average everyday random person on the street and there was just something about him like some kind of vibe with him you ever get that? yeah exactly when you're with a person and then there's something that's clicking Maybe there's something that he knows, and I know. Maybe something to do with that little, uh, shall we say, uh, shortcut trick of mine. Well, I tried to talk to him a bit. I thought I'd best not uh, beat around the bush too much, be a bit more, uh, be a bit more blunt and upfront. But I think I might have put the scare on him, you know, just kind of shaking him up. Of course, I tried to bounce it out with some genuine smiles and chuckles, things like that, you know, my usual demeanor. But, I don't know, I don't know if he's gonna be calling me anytime soon to ask for an interview or uh, for any potential job positions. I managed to drop him my business card, so there's that. But, uh, who knows, who knows, maybe that might be something I could get your help with. Maybe I could get you to help uh, recruit new members. <laughs> oh, man. No, no, I like to do these things myself. A bit of a personal head hunting. I guess it's not too different from hunting in the wild. Because when it comes to hunting for a business, it's kind of similar. Maybe not in a literal sense when I say this next thing, but it very much is like throwing a net out there trying to catch a man or lady and then just hope that you got a real fat catch or that can really do a lot of good for a company oh but here I am just rambling away <laughs> you don't want to hear all that now I can tell you getting a bit uh, a bit tired there tell you what why don't you just why don't you just let yourself get comfortable in my arms here and, uh, well, we're gonna be near the shortcut soon, so I'd rather that you perhaps not figure that out and not see what it's all about. It's probably gonna be best for you anyway. You need to rest up after that injury of yours. You need all the rest you can get. For sure, for sure. It's a good thing I brought my coat. Makes for a handy little makeshift blanket. You just stay under there now, okay? If you need anything else, just let me know. I promise see you I'm gonna get you home safe and sound. Then you can rest and recover until you're ready to work again. By the way, I just want to say, I am so proud of you. Real proud. <laughs> Real proud. <laughs> oh, your eyes are lighting up like fireworks once again. For sure, I mean it. I mean every word I say. You have made me so damn proud once again. Prouder than ever before with this feat. That's for sure. 